Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna work with Mesh Morpher and Masking which is a new functionality in Mesh Morpher. So first of all let's get started by adding a new morph target. We're just gonna name it test and let's double click on the morph target to open it and now we have the morph target open. Let's move a little bit closer to to be able to see what we're doing and let's select the move tool. We're gonna work with the nose first so it's easier to see what's going on and uh, we have to toggle mask selection first. When you toggle mask selection if it's enabled you you will see select mask vertices is enabled if you press again on toggle mask selection you will see that it's disabled now and you can use the selected tool uh, without uh, drawing the mask so let's turn it on and let's decrease a little bit the brush size and let's start drawing our nose okay I think uh, we can remove a little bit. If you hold shift, you can remove uh, vertices from the selection. And I think this is it. Uh, this uh, would be our nose, maybe adding a little bit here. Too much, no problem, we can delete. Okay. I think this this should be it yeah this is it um, now let's let's toggle mask selection now we don't need to select any vertices we need to work with our tool so first of all let's increase just a little bit the brush size okay and we can make our nose a little bit wider this is just an experiment and uh, it doesn't matter too much but uh, yeah let's try to make a beautiful nose and now if uh, we hold control we can move the nose along the normals the tip of it and we will make a beautiful nose here and uh, you can see the edges of the selection are, are, a, are a, a little bit rough so we can smooth them let's select the smooth brush decrease uh, decrease our brush size so we won't affect what well, we don't need to really affect and yeah it's looking awesome let's save it and uh, let's see how uh, uh, this morph target looks in uh, skeletal mesh previewer okay let's open it yeah this is the morph target we just created as you can see uh, we only affect the nose nothing else uh, gets modified we can't make mistakes when uh, we have a mask selection so uh, let's see how invert mask wor is working if we select invert mask we will not be able to uh, modify the selection and we will only be able to modify what's unselected let's toggle a mask selection and uh, select the eyes we don't want to modify the eyes and maybe let's uh, select the mouth as well okay now that we have our selection we can toggle mask selection back off and let's select move 
we will increase a little bit the brush size so we will be able to uh, to make uh, much more visible uh, changes as you can see nothing gets modified in in the selection now that we have this it's gonna look a little bit odd obviously but uh, hey we're just doing some tests it's fine we just smoothed, uh, smoothed a little bit uh, our changes and let's save again and uh, let's see how the final result is looking okay let's open the mesh now let's put the morph target to its maximum value as you can see the eyes the mouth doesn't move our selection remains intact so yeah this is it guys uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and uh, see you around bye